What's up guys back on the channel again we've got a preview with a wolves podcast group called the wolves 77 club i'll drop them in the description um literally previewing the game for for the valentine's day massacre bring it on here we go oh man i'm good uh thanks for having me on no not at all um you were talking well we were talking before we started recording about the manchester city game at molyneux at back end of 2019 and, and you said you, you love that result Oh man, um, well our result weren't so great on Boxing Day, um, we got absolutely smashed by Liverpool, so I, obviously we was not wanting Man City to, to you know to beat you guys, so watching you guys come back and, and really upsetting them was, was a great result in the end for us. <laughs> Amazing, absolutely phenomenal atmosphere and everything just went our way that night after a VAR nightmare. One thing I want to talk to you about Lee just before we start is that Bayliss on the podcast has done a shout that... Leicester won't finish in the top four. What's your response to Ooh. that? Uh, I think that's the ultimate goal, um, especially now we've uh, we got knocked out of the League Cup. I mean, we had a chance of going Wembley and winning some silverware. I, and I, to be honest with you, I don't see how we managed to chuck that out the window because we, we really we, we buried Aston Villa at, at the King Power and we should have should have won that easily the first leg so to not even be you know in it now is, is kind of annoying but I think now's the focus is Champions League football I can't see why we shouldn't I can't see why we would fall out of it to be honest with you. We're, we're still cracking side had some good results in the season um and uh, what is it? There's only about 13, is it 13 games 13 to go? 13 games left, like that? yeah. I know Leicester are 10 points clear of Sheffield United are in fifth. So it would it would take something monumental, I suppose, to change. But the, the form of those sides can be mixed right through from Liverpool down. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, I think it's we don't need to worry about Liverpool, though, eh? Because they've, no. they've definitely won the league now. <laughs> I think they there's might no, have won the league. Um, there's, there's no way they're not going to win this. How do Leicester approach this one, Lee? I suppose they need points on the board to keep in contention with the top four, but Wolves need them the same, possibly for the same reason. European football either way. Yeah, I think so. Um, like I've already said, I've really enjoyed watching Wolves this season. Um, that, <laughs> that fixture against Man City was brilliant. Um, but... I feel like we need revenge from you guys because you guys did the comeback on us, didn't you? We did. did. Uh, that was a mad result, that 4-3-1. That was a crazy and, game. It was a crazy yeah, game. Yeah, that was a mad game, wasn't it? Let's be honest. And would you say that Wolves have got better since then? Do you think Leicester have got better since then? Have, have both teams improved? Both teams, uh, are, are just I think, have been firing on all cylinders. Um, particularly Leicester, obviously um, biased, but we are third in Premier League. Technically speaking, with the third best team in in England, uh, or, you know that's just how it is. Um, maybe we've been a little bit lucky. I, I don't know, but we're we're playing really well. We're playing really well under Brendan Rodgers. It's it's great to see. Um, the the players seem to be huddled together a lot at the minute. Um, so under pure pure uh, Claude Puel, it wasn't so great. How I do don't you, know, there was a lot Brendan of atmosphere. There, there was no atmosphere. Under Club Puel, there was no atmosphere at Leicester at all, whatsoever. Um, there was no personality in the conferences, you know, in the in the interviews and the press conferences and stuff. He just had no, there was no personality and that didn't come out on the pitch or the players and the fans, resulting in dead atmosphere. How does Brendan Rodgers set up for this one? Tough fixture away from home. Yeah, uh, it is going to be a tough ask. I got to say, especially because of the the, the previous result. What's the previous uh, stats on on these two? I can't quite remember. I've not gone to the top of my head. Um, total wins and losses. I can't remember because oh, that always means it. something, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I think Leicester's one of only two teams Wolves have kept a clean sheet against this season. Obviously, first game of the season and, yeah. and the whole VAR yeah, that was a boring thing opener, from, wasn't it? from, from <laughs> Denzel was a little bit considering what we'd had last year. Uh, yeah. do, do you think it's going to be a high scoring game? I think I think Leicester need to come back uh, from this League Cup um, problem that we've we've had, and uh, and knock that on the head. And the Chelsea game, I think we could have really got the win there. Um, two two sitters missed, uh, particularly Vardy, and uh, I think it was it uh, Inacho as well. So 
I think we just need to put some goals away and James Vardy needs to get back on the goal scoring sheet because he's not scored since he's had his little and uh, I think was it around Christmas time so he's, he's still not scored how do you stop Adama Traore oh I don't know oh, I'm not it's going to be a tough, tough ask. He's a great player. He, he reminds me of a rugby player, that guy. He is. He is. <laughs> I think he was going to he's try not out for NFL he's at one point. But... <laughs> he's superhuman sometimes, it does seem. But Is he your, your favourite down there? I think Jimenez is probably the, the proper favourite, but I think maybe Traore is, is a close second, especially with the form that yeah, he's in. and Jota as well. Yeah, yeah, incredible players. He's obviously just coming back from injury and they've actually had an extended break, which they haven't had for a long time with the season starting in sort of July with the Europa League. So, you know, they're going to be fresh for this one. Is there any um, is there anything that's happened to your club, by the way, in the media? Because our James Madison has, has been in the media again uh, this time because he's been spending his money and whatnot abroad on models and two thousand pound bottles of wines and all this. Is is any does this happen to you guys at all? Do you see this in your local newspapers and stuff, or is it just? Do you know <laughs> I don't what? know. Is it an attack on James I, Madison? I don't again? know what it is. I think. It, it, seems that certain players get picked up by the British press. They're usually England players. And yeah, I, I guess yeah. that's why Madison's been picked up. But to be honest, in terms of maybe Jimenez and, and that sort of thing, he's been in Hello magazine because him and his girlfriend are pregnant. And, and that's it. And there's, there's really nothing else. They sort of stay away from the social media. They're not flashing and splashing the cash as, as much as... Well, they might be. We, we just don't know about it. But I just don't think, you know, those foreign players for a team like Wolves uh, are really that much of an interest to someone like the Sun. Whereas when you've got James Madison, who's an England player, England starter, yeah. it becomes a bit more, you know, Rooney and the whole Wags thing back in the maybe two thousand. It's scandals, so. isn't it? Yeah, it's it scandals. is. Yeah, of course. And it, you know, it sells newspapers, but... Do you, do you guys, you know, going back to the game itself though, do you guys think you're going to defend deep and play on the counter? Because that seems to be the Wolves way at the moment. I think... <sighs> It's one of those. We're, we're looking at stats of, of Connor Cody this week and in terms of ball playing centre halves or sweepers in the Premier League, he's top with the most completed. So it's not really smashing teams on the break. It's building the attack. So having Willy Bolly back, he slotted uh, straight back in last time out and, and was incredible. So uh, he will play a part again, no doubt. I think he improves every defence in the Premier League to be fair, um, maybe bar Liverpool, although I'd rate him better than Gomez or Matip. Uh, I, I think it's about building the play. It's about spreading. It's about using those wing backs and, and the wingers, of course, you know, everything really pretty much goes through Traore. And when you've got three men on him, it opens up Jota on the other side or, or Neto. And, um, you know, it's a recipe for disaster for, for teams trying to play against that. Yeah, well, Leicester like to play. That's the thing. So it's going to be. I think it is going to be a different game to the opener. I think the opening games, the opening game goes either one way or the other, doesn't it? It's either a goal-scoring game or it's 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 flat. And I think our opening game was flat. And I think this time round, it's going to be wide open. I think um, Leicester, I can imagine, are going to play their probably their basic eleven, which will be Ben Chilwell, um, Ricardo Pereira, Johnny Evans, Soyuncu, Chu, Casper in the sticks. Uh, and your usuals on the pitch as well. Madison's going to be up top with Vardy. Uh, oops, sorry, Vardy's going to be up top with Madison behind him. And, you know, it's just going to be the usual, I think, 11 with Leicester. Um, how do you see Wolves lining up? I think it's probably going to be, uh, it'll be Patricia in goal. It'll be Doherty, Johnny. Uh, those will be your wing backs. Then you're looking at probably remain safe, keeping Dendonka out on the um, left-hand side of the three at the back, Cody in the middle, uh, Bolly on the right again, usually used to playing on the left, but he's, he's done well on the right, to be fair. Uh, then you've got Neves, that man Martinio in there too. I think Jota, Traore, Jimenez, and, you know, that's that's pretty much going to be what Wolves are shaping up, I would imagine. Right. Score, score predictions. Are you, are you thinking? Are you, are you are you feeling confident, strong against this Leicester side, or do you think we're going to edge it? I think we always concede. So that's a given. So we'll go with. I, I think maybe a. I think a two-one Wolves. I, I'm always optimistic, uh, but I'd like to see some goals. But I think we really need the need the win. What about you? I'm going to go. I've already said my predictions on the radio. I'm not going to change my mind. Uh, I'm going to go for a Leicester win, um, but I, I'm going to say it's going to be close. I'm going to go for a 2 1 Leicester win. You're crazy, um, Lee. You're crazy. To, <laughs> to push on for the uh, the Champions League. We've got, to, we've got to secure that Champions League spot. We've got to secure it. Perfect, mate. If I just say goodbye, is that all right? Yeah. Okay. 
Well, best of bad luck, of course, Lee, for the weekend. Well, Friday night. Have you got any plans, by the way? Are you going? Are you uh, are you taking the missus out? Are you taking the <laughs> missus to the football? I that into the equation. Um, <laughs> are you in the doghouse? Are you yeah, going to wake I, up covered in nails so. and panels of wood? She's actually watching me do this right now, and she's already giving me some uh, funny looks. <laughs> um, this is. Yeah, I, I won't say anything about Valentine's Day because it was a surprise, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's cheers, for, be, put, cheers what, for putting me on the spot one, one hell of a surprise when when you're not there and you're at the football <laughs> oh dear me no i'm not i don't think i'll be going um but uh you know i'll, I'll catch up with it all afterwards <laughs> she's well, look, giving gonna, me evils I've got, mate i've got to leave you now I because I, 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 I can feel it getting extremely awkward in there but lee thank oh. you so much for your time and look best best of luck um sorting out the other half <laughs> cheers lads <laughs> okay Right, I'm not getting a missus on, but she is genuinely here giving me uh, the evils. <laughs> uh, football. <laughs> Valentine's Day football. <laughs> we all know. Right, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Like the video. Get your comments in. Get your predictions in. Do you think Leicester are going to secure Champions League football? Let us know. Let let us know your thoughts at Leicester Fan TV. You can at us at Leicester Fan TV on socials as well. Visit LeicesterFanTV.com if you're into competitions. We've got a few bits and bobs to give away. We've got a pink shirt, a pink Leicester shirt to give away because they're all sold out now, as you know. And we've got a few left. Uh, thanks to Pink Vehicle Leasing for that one. And uh, if you're into beer... You can always go for an Everard's Tiger, got a keg of beer on uh, LeicesterFanTV.com. Go and have a look. Check us out. I'll see you soon, guys. Come on, Leicester. Let's get those three points. Let's secure Champions League football. Come on.